Now, some lawmakers are now calling for President Trump's removal from office in the final days of his presidency. This includes several Florida Democratic representatives who are calling for the 25th Amendment to be invoked. ABC Action News reporter Lauren Rosella shows us what this means and what it would actually take for it to happen. Two key Democrats from Tampa Bay, both representatives Charlie Crist and Kathy Castor, are now joining fellow legislators in calling for the president to be taken out of office. This comes after rioters forced their way into the U.S. Capitol on Wednesday. So what would it take for the 25th Amendment to be invoked? The 25th Amendment requires the support of the vice president and the cabinet. Florida Congressman Charlie Crist sending this letter to them on Thursday. I think invoking the 25th Amendment and remo removing President Trump from office is important for the safety and security of the American people. Uh, that's why it needs to be done. He's unstable. He's unfit. That's crystal clear. Constitutional law professors tell ABC Action News the 25th Amendment may actually take too long because the president has less than two weeks left in office. Representative Kathy Castor from Tampa posting to Twitter saying if the 25th Amendment is not invoked, Trump must be removed through impeachment immediately. Speaker Nancy Pelosi and presumptive Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer pointed to the possibility of impeachment if not the 25th Amendment. But there's been no statement yet from the vice president. However, some did not echo the same sentiments. Florida Congressman Byron Donald saying the calls to invoke the 25th Amendment are, quote, incredibly irresponsible and ring hollow, considering many of these same members have been calling for this since the president was elected. And coming up ahead in our next half hour, we're breaking down the key differences between the 25th Amendment and impeachment and the potential consequences of both for the president. In Tampa, I'm Lauren Rosella, ABC Action News.